So, we want to continue our talks on forest law. And already we have spoken of the tree. And we want to speak of something that's very related to the tree, closely related to the tree, but very different. And interestingly, this particular thing that we want to talk about has two aspects. So, we will have two talks on the one thing. What is this thing? Well, this thing is the acorn. Now, we use the word acorn, but that word, it represents the idea of seed. So, it could be the seed of the animal, the seed of the plant, the seed of the human, the seed of anything elemental. Because even with fire, you have to have the bits and pieces, if you like, to create the fire, right? So, that that would be the seed. So that's what we want to talk about. But we are going to use that term acorn because most people, especially in the West, they have the image of the acorn, the design of the acorn in their mind, and that will serve us well. When people think of things like the acorn, they think of it as something that is like new life, right? Something that is the beginning and then from that comes the tree or the plant, what have you. And that's true, of course, but the way that we look at it, one of the ways, remember we said there were two, the one of the ways that we look at it in forest law is that it is, yes, of course, new life, but the possibility of creation, right? The possibility of creation, and that is very important because the acorn, it can fall from the tree, right? The seed of the man for example, can enter the female, doesn't mean it's going to actually connect and make anything, right? So, it can fall from the tree, and it can just sit there. It can just sit there. Full of possibility, but it just sits there. It can be crushed. Somebody walks through and they crush it. An animal comes and eats it. The possibility of creation is dashed in that instant. It's not there anymore. But if it is nurtured by the elements, let us say, maybe the leaves fall on the acorn and provide some lovely mulch for it, and then it is able to be gathering, uh, starting its roots and, and taking hold and becoming what it is meant to become, then you have this possibility of creation. What does it create? Well, whatever it creates is in the acorn already. That information is there. That's what it will create. But what is the importance of this for us? In the healing world, what is the importance of that? The importance of it is actually this idea of the possibility of creation. So, we have already said that you can see the acorn, it can be crushed, right? So, the possibility, the excitement, all of that energy around it, just like a new idea of somebody or uh, an excitement of a child or the innocence is crushed, right? That's the beginning of maybe some trauma or dilemma for them, right? So maybe they are ill with something. doesn't matter what it is. So we would go back, go back. We would think about this. We would use this idea and this connection. And we would go back, go back to find out the point of the crushing, right? But not just that. Not just that. There's another side to this. And the other side is... That, remember we said it's the possibility of creation. Now, if somebody is unwell, anything, the conditions have to be right for that to happen. Just like the conditions have to be right for somebody to flourish, to be nourished, right? The conditions for illness have to be right. If they're not right, the the illness will not flourish in the way that it's currently showing. So again, we have to go back to that point of creation, that possibility of creation, and look Not just at the actual event, perhaps, that occurred, the crushing, let us say, but what was going on around that? What has fed that? Because lots of people, their ideas are crushed, doesn't stop them from going on, right? Lots of people, they might have some innocence or some belief in something and that is crushed. doesn't mean that they don't have other beliefs and other innocences. But sometimes the conditions are such that it actually provides the possibility of creation of a problem, right? It's very interesting that, isn't it? And that's 
how we look, one of the ways, just one of the ways that we look at the acorn and view it as something that's so important in forest law because of what it represents, that possibility of creation and all of the aspects that are bound up with that possibility of creation. Positive and negative. Good, bad. Nourishing, desecrating. Right? All of that. That's what's so important because all of them are creations. So that means that the acorn itself, that idea of the acorn, that concept, is in itself a possibility. Blessings to you, our friends. We are the Ancestral Medicine Women, healing from the past for the present and the future.